All right, hello guys. Uh, I'm doing another music review today, and it's for a lesser known group, I think, and like compared to like Dance Gavin Dance and uh, Run the Jewels, and that is the God Bombs. Like, uh, what's it called? I can't really get into focus at all the way, but this is for uh, me buying their latest record, Plague Songs. And uh, what's it called? I've been following them since, uh, or since the, uh, following the band. Justin Symbol's like one of the main guys out of the group. The other one is Nola Starr, which is his girlfriend. And then Ryan Lynch, and I don't remember the name of the... It's kind of horrible when I don't pay attention to this. I could have just looked it up beforehand, but I just didn't. But uh, the bass's name, I don't remember the bass's name offhand. But uh, they were, they when they did Hex, their last album, they uh, they were had a different lineup and stuff. And I'm assuming mostly it's like they didn't have time to like do another record with them or something. So he just decided to do stuff with his girlfriend and everybody else, which I actually like this record, I think a lot better than their last record. Which is kind of weird because I'm like uh, I really like the last record too. I haven't heard like every single song off of the other one because they have Hex and then Hex Deluxe, and I haven't been able to check out Hex Deluxe like completely yet. There's only been like a few songs that I've listened to off of it, but like I like Low Lights and uh, Sociopath and stuff like that. Okay, Arrow. All trying to get up in frame and stuff, but uh, what's it called? Uh, this album I actually enjoy a lot. I've been listening to it for since it came, or at least since I bought it, I've been listening to it. It kind of gives me the whole because he kind of like it sounds like he listened to a lot of the same music that I grew up on listening to, like Marilyn Manson and Ministry and Nine Inch Nails and stuff like that. So you could definitely hear that in the music is that he's actually like and taking elements from these bands to do in his music too. And it's kind of weird with Nolan Star too. I don't know why, even though that it's not of great comparison anyway, but like she reminds me of, or as she sounds like, Courtney Love in a way, or at least in certain songs, like in Piss and stuff like that, I, I hear her voice and it kind of reminds me of her. And not like that's a bad thing, but uh, it's just like the main thing that I ever think about, like whenever, because so all the, like pretty much this whole record, it kind of gives me a Marilyn Manson, Nine Inch Nails, and Ministry vibe to it, that, and mixed with a little bit of punk too, thrown in. Like, which is kind of weird because, like, I don't know. I'm seeing, like, where the vi uh, where my elements, where I listen to it, I think of it, di uh, trying to think of it differently than most people. Uh, at least I would think, at least. But uh, by far, playing songs, the actual song, like, is probably my favorite so far. Like, out of all the songs, I, I enjoy all of them, and I can listen to them on repeat. Like, I was just listening to it before I started recording. Uh, and it's mostly, I'm like, I don't know what it is. With playing song, it's just, like, the, I think the chugga-chugga, like, guitar riffs and stuff like that in there, like, I think that's just, like, so good. Um, like, every time I hear it, I'm just like, yeah, okay, I could jam to this, like, constantly. I've already been playing it at work and stuff like that because, it, like, I price stuff most times whenever I'm at work. So I get to listen to usually whenever I want, mostly, most of the time. But uh, what's it called? So I crank this every once in a while, like, more now than I have, like, since, uh, like, since just listening to the, what was it? I think it was Toxic Scum that was his first one that they came out with. And that, like, I really enjoy that one, too. It's like a lot of the songs on this record I really enjoy listening to. And it's just, like, uh, like very fun. And, let, um, like, you could definitely tell, like, uh, their lyrics and stuff like that are pretty, like, heavy, too. 
like mostly because they talk about a lot of serious stuff. It sounds like in uh, one of the songs, I can't remember which one, uh, it sounds like they talk about a religion and stuff like that in there. Probably more like about the people that take it too far or they uh, try to justify their methods based on because they they listen um, that they're religious they're like oh yeah you're a piece of shit because you don't like go to god or or whatever which i'm totally uh not i'm like totally against anyway i think everybody should be able to live their own life and enjoy it the way that they get it a lot of the time but you know, like, you can't stop certain people from deciding to come up with their own ideals on things. Like, that's the problem with a lot of stuff. And I think they deal with a lot of, like, rage and stuff like that. And that's mostly why it's more like uh, he screams and she screams a lot, too, in this record. You can tell, like, a lot of pain and everything that they uh, put into this record like and it really shows like uh, and that's a good thing i i always think that whenever you show pain in your music or like in your lyrics and stuff like that then they they will uh it, it comes across more because everybody goes through pain and stuff like that and when you hear stuff from somebody that it, it has went through the same thing it makes you care about them that much more you know so uh and I've been saying, uh, like way too many times. Sorry. It's like my vernacular of like most of the time. I always try to, um, try to avoid it, but it's like constantly there. <laughs> but, uh, once ago, I just really enjoyed this, uh, enjoy this record. And I definitely want to recommend it to people that have not listened to him before. Because the last record that he came out with, like, uh, when it wasn't the God Bombs, he does his own uh, side projects. His first one was, uh, was is mainly Justin Symbol, the, his band part. But then at one point, he was trying out rap and, or, well, it's kind of like trap metal, I guess, like you would consider it, or like, I don't know. It has, like, screaming rap, really. That's the easiest way to put it. So it's not like Ghost Man, but it's more like Scarlord. And stuff like that. So if you enjoy that, then you would definitely enjoy uh, Star Daddy, his uh, side band or whatever, or side group or side solo project, whatever. It's so hard to like explain which one. But like, uh, and that's one thing I love about Justin Symbol is that he's constantly evolving, constantly trying to do different things, and definitely trying to put forth like and put forth an effort and trying to get better like always constantly trying to get better with his music and trying to sound like just per uh just the best that he can be it seems like like this one and definitely his last record i recommend for you guys to listen to most of his back catalog is really good anyway especially if you love ministry and you love nine inch nails and stuff like that you would definitely enjoy this band uh, like, the first time I saw him, like, this is how I found out about him, was that, uh, I think it was in 2012 or 2013, they had a show with Blood on the Dance Floor, and it was like seven people, uh, or seven different bands that was there, and there wasn't a whole lot of people that showed up, because not a whole lot of people enjoyed Blood on the Dance Floor. I mostly enjoyed Blood on the Dance Floor because of their... Uh, talking about fucking bitches all the time and the goofy side of them rather than the serious side and whatever, even with all the controversies that have came up recently. Um, or, well, not even recently. But anyway, I'm getting off so uh, subject. But there was like six bands there and there wasn't a whole lot of people at the show. It's only maybe like 15 people, which is... And so, so surprising to me because most of the time, whenever it's anybody in town, most shows, usually they end up having a lot of people there and it was barely like 15 people. And, uh, he still went out like here when I saw him. But, uh, anyway, so I saw him in 2013 
and Justin Symbol, even if he saw, because I think it was funny because at one point, right before he played, or like right before somebody else played, uh, and there was only like five or six people around, and because uh, Blood on the Dance Floor did their VIP like super, super late, so there was barely anybody in there, and one of the friends that I met, like at that show, me and him were doing a circle pit with Justin Symbol when there was nobody there. But like, that's the main thing about Justin Symbol though. Like he would, even if there was like two people or one person or like a fucking thousand people, it would still play the same exact way that he would play if it was sold out, right? And that's a testament to certain people too, is like you go out of your way to make all this stuff work for people or you you are even if there's barely anybody there you're still trying to show that you give a shit and you're trying to uh, put forth your art over like you not enjoying how there's only like two people there because there's not a lot of people like there was a band like after them that got kind of pissed off because they and they ran off they only did like a few songs and then they ran off took all their merch and left because uh nobody saw them perform or like there was only like two people that watched them because of the vip thing but uh what's it called and he just went out and he was super nice to everybody like yeah i even didn't even have any money to like pay for any of his merch and then he still took a picture with me and everything else like he did shit that you and a lot of people wouldn't regularly do and to people that don't have money or like just and just trying to have a good time at a show or whatever and he he like still made a point of trying to be the best that he could be on that night even if there was one person or 20 or like 2 million or whatever. And that's why I think he should definitely be, uh, uh, he should be a lot higher. Like people need to listen to his music more because of him being that type of person. Like there's not that many people that I've met, like, uh, because I love going to concerts and everything else. That's like one of my main pastimes is going to like especially metal shows is to uh watch bands perform because it's like my favorite thing to do is listen to music all the time so uh, mo uh there's been a lot of bands or people that i've met that just have been like kind of like eh, like it didn't really give a shit they didn't really give a shit to meet you or whatever and he was just like super chill always talk to people and even now like um, like because he just if you listen to his music or whatever and you could just add him on facebook and stuff like that most of the time i don't know if it's like closed now but like they have like a he has like a facebook page where it's like for the his fans and stuff like that where he calls it the fuck hut a fuck head army i think at one point he was trying to think about changing it but it just makes sense because uh, especially in a lot of his earlier work by himself, he did Voidhead and then he did Shithead. And I think he was trying to do uh, Godhead at one point, like making like a three album thing, uh, thing for it or something. And that just hasn't happened. But I'm sure the way that he comes up with his music and stuff, it's just eventual that he will be back up there doing the same thing. But, uh, I highly recommend this album to everybody that was watching this video and even people that ain't. I just definitely think that he should get more notoriety or I don't know if it's notoriety. I definitely think that more people should be listening to his uh, music and buying his merch. Definitely buying his mer a merch because that's like the main thing that drives anybody to do any of the stuff. I, I de uh, because I definitely know if you even watch this, like, um, listen to his, uh, this album and stuff like that with his, uh, all his bandmates and stuff like that. If you enjoy this stuff, go to his regular stuff, his Justin Symbol page 
and then his store daddy stuff i'm sure that if you like the god bomb stuff you're gonna like all the other stuff so uh that's uh, that being said i definitely uh i think i'm gonna end this here i don't know exactly what my next video is gonna be about i'm sure it'll be either rap or metal re related or it'll be something something that's came out this year that i just want uh I want to try to like comment to the lesser known bands and stuff like that, or like stuff that I enjoy or whatever of the past year, rather than everything that comes out. Like, I don't want to fucking recommend Justin Bieber and shit. I don't want to fucking listen to anything where it doesn't have, where it doesn't feel like there's no meaning to it or whatever. I definitely want to recommend stuff that not everybody actually gets to listen to a lot of the time. Because I always try to go for the crazy bands and stuff like that that not a lot of people have heard of. Uh, and, like, if I wouldn't have went to this Blood on the Dance Floor show, I would have probably never knew about this dude, too. And he's, like, one of the coolest people. His girlfriend seems awesome. Same with Ryan Lynch. And I'm sorry... If Justin and Justin and everybody else in the band, if I if I don't remember your name, you can kick me later. If I, because I'm definitely gonna be at another show whenever you guys come near me anyway. So you could always slap me in the face or something for not remembering your name. But uh, <laughs> but and all uh, I guess I'll just end it now. And uh, hopefully, if you go to the Heart of Geek stuff, like, I'll leave it into the description or whatever. Everything's that Heart of Geek or whatever. We're just trying to build something out of all this. Like, trying to do music, gaming, and stuff like that. We're going to be doing a D&D &D series soon, too. So, if you're into Dungeons & Dragons stuff, you can always check that stuff out. And I'm sure that if you guys enjoy hearing, like, whatever I'm talking about, about music, just let me know if there's a certain band that you guys really enjoy uh, in the comments, and I'll check them out. So, at the, uh, I guess, right now, I guess I'll see you guys later in the next video. See you guys.